Dude, computers can play Nintendo games by themselves now. Only took them 28 years. How many of you out there remember Rob the Robot? Now if you're lucky, you don't at all, but if you do like I do, you'll remember this failure of a product was Nintendo's attempt at creating a robotic operating buddy that would play video games with you instead of, you know, like a real human friend. In reality, Rob mostly ended up doing this. Oh, f Knock it the f No, don't knock it off! Oh, no, 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 no! Fast forward 28 years and someone has finally figured out how to not only make a computer play Nintendo games, but play them better than any human being out there. It all started when computer scientist Tom Murphy set out to create a program that would solve Super Mario Brothers like it was a computational equation. And while his findings were for the spoof research conference Sig Bovik, he insists that his findings are 100% real, even though they came out on April 1st. Basically, what he did was create two programs, the Learn Fun and the Play Fun. The Learn Fun consisted of him actually playing World 1-1 of Super Mario Brothers and then loading all of the information from the gameplay session into the computer. Then the Play Fun program analyzes everything, and by everything, I mean everything. Things like how long the B button was pushed, where the enemies were on screen, what the score was, how long Mario stayed in the air, how fast he was running, etc, etc, and then outputs what it interprets as a perfectly played game of Super Mario Brothers. And while the results won't have the play fun winning any speedrun tournaments in the future, it does manage to pull off some tricks even I didn't know were possible in the game. Things like, if Mario is leaping into the air and an enemy is about to land on his head, as long as Mario begins his falling animation, he can kill the enemy and jump higher. Check it out. And here's this move again. Let me show you that one in slow motion. Basically, as long as Mario's moving down, and you'll see he moves just down a little bit, he always stomps an enemy. He's invincible when he's moving down. Or if Mario times his jump perfectly, he can use the brick floor to keep him from falling into a pit. Here's an example of Mario exploding another bug. That's pretty cool. Don't know how that one works. And the play fun isn't just good at Super Mario Brothers either. It does some amazing inhuman moves in Pac-Man too. Like this. Check it out, like play fun's all like, oh snap, here come the ghost. F it YOLO, I'm just gonna go touch him and run away. Woo woo! It's Pac-Man. But when tasked with a game like Tetris, the play fun is thoroughly confused. Instead of using strategy to build the highest score, it gets blocks to the bottom of the screen as fast as possible. This obviously works out less than perfect for PlayFun, and since PlayFun is a sore loser, it'll pause the game indefinitely before the last block drops, just so it won't lose. War game style. Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. This isn't the first time computers have been programmed to play Nintendo, though. There's an annual Mario AI championship where audiences judge which game was played by a human and which game was played by a computer. Now, if you ask me, personally, I think this whole computers playing Nintendo games thing is really, really cool. And I highly suggest you check out Tom's Play Fun video to see more examples in games like Bubble Bobble, Hudson's Adventure Island, and for some reason, The Karate Kid. 17 minutes long, you'll really enjoy it. Link's probably down in the show notes somewhere. And as always, if you liked what you saw here, give us a thumbs up, comment on the video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, I wonder if the Play Fund would ever play Deadly Towers. That game sucked. The game was hot street trash. Piece of garbage. Deadly Towers. Oh my God. That in anticipation. That game sucked too.